So the current hashtag on Maths YouTube is mega fave numbers. It's your favorite number bigger than a million. And I thought, well, what's the megaest number there is? And it's the number of bytes in a megabyte. And now by the standards, that's exactly one million. Although nobody on the mega fave numbers thread yet has said your number has to be strictly greater than a million. So I think on a technicality, one million would be acceptable, but that's not the number I want to nominate. Because there's a better, more useful definition of a megabyte out there. Because the reason metric is great is that it's decimal and we work in decimal. So if we want to take the number of meters that we've got and turn it into kilometers, we just chop off the last few digits. If you're a computer, you can't do that because computers work in binary. And 1000 is not a nice round number in binary. If you want to divide a number of meters to get a number of kilometers in a computer, you have to do the division longhand. In our case, the modern computers are very fast at that, but if you keep doing enough divisions, it all starts to add up. And back in the day when computers weren't so fast, this was a big problem. And the solution that we came up with was, well, don't use decimal. Don't define your units in terms of decimal. So the sectors on a disk, for example, tend to be quite often formatted to 512 bytes in length. 512 seems like an arbitrary weird number, but it's two to the power of nine. So if you use a sector of that length, if you want to get to this byte somewhere on the hard disk, all you have to do is take the last nine digits, that tells you the position within the sector. The rest of the digits give you the number of the sector, so you can go straight there. And so since data tended to come in chunks of 512, it made a lot of sense to base our unit for amount of data on that number. Although actually what we did was we based it on double that number. We based it on 2 to the power of 10, which is 1024, and it's just a neat coincidence that 2 to the 10 is almost exactly 10 to the 3. So we've got about 2.5%, which is pretty good. So that's what we did. We said 1 kilobyte is not 1000 bytes, it's 1024 bytes, which is close enough to the decimal number for jazz, but it's much, much more useful for dealing with the actual numbers that come up inside a computer where data tends to be found. And this was great, it worked really well until disks got bigger and we needed to define a megabyte. So we said, okay, well, we'll just say the next 10 bits. So there were 1,024 bytes in a kilobyte, 1,024 kilobytes in a megabyte, 1,024 megabytes in a gigabyte, and so on, which was great. It was very consistent, it was easy to understand, and the problem with it was, that all right, a kilobyte is pretty close, whichever system you use, but a megabyte is now 1,048,576 bytes. It's nearly 5% out. A gigabyte is 1,073,741,824 bytes, which is a bit more than 7% out. And a terabyte is 1,099,511,627,000 bytes, which apart from just being a weird number, is 99.5 billion bytes off the decimal value, which is, first of all, a lot, even as a proportion of a terabyte, that's 10%. But also, it's not useful anymore to be using the binary versions of the numbers at this scale. Terabytes are only of use for file sizes and disk sizes. And those things aren't tied to powers of two. They're just tied to how much data you have and the physical size of your disk. And so, the standards body stepped in. And they said, okay, from now on, we are going to define that one kilobyte is 1,000 bytes, and a megabyte is a million bytes, and a gigabyte is a billion bytes, and so on. But because the binary ones are useful as well, we are going to define one kibibyte to be 1,024 bytes, so the big means binary. So then we said uh, the mibibyte is 1,024 of those, and the gibibyte is 1,024 of those, and so on. So now we have two standards which are both annoying for different reasons. We have the standard which is going to annoy the computer people, and the standard which is going to annoy the metric people. But can we do better? Because the organisation that defined all of this is called the International Organisation for Standardisation, or ISO. I should explain the acronym. Um, 
they are based in Geneva, which is a French-speaking area, and their French name is the Organisation Internationale de Normalisation, or ISO. What they've done is they've picked an acronym which doesn't work in any language, because that's diplomatic, no one will like it, and therefore it's fair. So we should do that with megabytes. And we did. We, we genuinely did this. This is a three and a half inch floppy disk. And if you're about my age or a little older, you will know that it stores exactly 1.44 megabytes of data. In fact, this is a high density disk. The original ones stored 360 kilobytes of data. And then somebody figured out that you could put some data on the back as well and invented the two-sided floppy disk, which could hold 720 kilobytes of data, which in context today is nothing. This high density version doubled that number again to 1,440 kilobytes of data, but you would never market something by saying 1,000 kilo anything. You get to use the word mega at this point, you are going to use the word mega. Even today, digital cameras are sold in megapixels, even though that number means nothing to, at least it means nothing to me. Maybe photography buffs have an instinctive idea of how much picture a megapixel is, but I don't. So the floppy disk manufacturers had a choice. They could either double 720 kilobytes to 1.41 megabytes, or they could double it to 1.47 megabytes. And neither was good. 1.47 was a weird jump to make to a clunky sounding number, and 1.41 is less. It's less than double 720. It doesn't sound good. So they made a decision which makes perfect sense in context, which is the best kind of decision. They said, well, for the purpose of sizing floppy disks, one megabyte shall be defined as 1,000, 1,024 byte kilobytes. It's a killer kibby byte. So that's my mega fave number. 1,024,000 exactly. The number of bytes in a megabyte when you are talking about the size of a floppy disk. It's a terrible, terrible number, but it's stuck around as a standard for a really long time. Because it was convenient at the time, and I like it because that is how all standards develop. We don't pick the best standard, we pick the one that's easiest to get everybody to buy into. And in this case, it was 1,024,000, exactly. That is my mega fave number, the QWERTY keyboard of numbers.